Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Nurse Catherine here, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be going over my 30 day review of Dansko clogs. But before we get into the review, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. So make sure to hit that subscribe button right now and hit the thumbs up button as well. Other than that, let's get this video started. So let's get into it. As I get this video started, I just want to point out that I recorded on different days throughout this video, so you will be seeing that. So I first want to talk about the actual clog. And let's just talk about the weight real quick. So the weight of the clog versus my Bala sneakers that I have been wearing, or just really any sneaker that I was wearing, Reeboks, Nikes, whatever it may be, the clog is definitely much heavier and much higher. So I stand higher in the clog as well, but it is also heavier, it has a very big sole to the clog. So that is definitely the first thing I noticed when I had my initial impression video. I don't even know if I talked about that, but I definitely noticed that is how tall the clog is. Obviously it's a clog, it doesn't have shoelaces, it fits on your foot much different as well. So let's get into that part now. So day one with these clogs did not go well. Um, I was hoping it was gonna go really well. I have heard either really good things about Danskos or really bad things about Danskos. And I was like, I hope I'm one of those really good people so I can do an awesome review on Danskos. But this review probably isn't going to be the best per se for Dansko the company, but there's a lot that goes into that. There were great things, but then there were really bad things for me personally. So let's start with number one, the first day. And this is the before picture of my feet, like now. And this is what my feet looked like after a eight to nine hour shift of wearing the clogs. Guys, I was in so much pain. Literally, I had so much pain in my feet that first day after wearing the Dansko clogs. And I even posted on Instagram, I was like, how do you break these things in? Like, how do people wear these more than one day? Because I couldn't wear them the next day or the next day. I had to take an entire week break from wearing these clogs because my feet hurt me that long. And it almost was like, challenging for me even thinking about putting the dance goes back on my feet because my feet hurt that bad after wearing them so then i reached out like i said on instagram and a lot of people said wear ted stockings that will help as well but the problem is i like to wear joggers to work joggers on top of ted's with dance goes i was looking insane now a big reason why i think the clogs didn't work well the first day was because i didn't wear a full sock with them i wore like one of the petty socks i think that's what they're called it's like that partial sock so i wore that and that sits at the top of your foot bone like this is your foot these are your toes kind of sits like right here and the dance goes hit your feet or hit your top of your foot like right there and I have a very high bone on the top of my foot so it was constant pressure on that bone all day long and it just it just didn't go well for the actual anatomy of my foot not to mention I had that bone that sticks up right there but I also have a vein that goes over top of that bone so that was more pressure on top of that vein than on top of the bone. So really, I honestly think it's an anatomy problem of my foot with the dance goes. It just didn't go well. So let's get into the arches next because I made it past the day one. I waited an entire week to wear them on the second day. Now the second day went well. I wore Ted stockings with them that definitely helped, but 
I had on this outfit so you guys can see this. So it totally looked goofy, I will say. I looked really goofy in this outfit. I got to wear tie-dye that day, so I wore matching tie-dye socks or a Ted's with my tie-dye shirt, so I was just looking like a clown. But it definitely went much better, but I will say my feet were still hurting. The arches in Dansko's are amazing. I will say that the arch support is like overly amazing for my foot personally. It was just like almost like a rock underneath my arch and I have high arches. I don't have flat feet at all. So I was thinking, okay, these arches are gonna be awesome. The arch support is gonna be awesome. And my foot will fit really well with it because I have high arches, but it was actually too much arch support and it wasn't squishy. It's very hard. So sorry to break it to you. You thought this was a 30 day review, but I honestly couldn't go past the second day of reviewing these dance goes because my feet were hurting that bad. And I personally don't think I should have to break in a shoe for nursing and suffer through pain while at work just to hopefully potentially make that shoe work in the future. Now I'm not bashing Dansko at all. My best friend actually loves her Danskos and she works 12 hour shifts and they work really, really well for her feet. But personally for my feet, Danskos did not work. I couldn't even make it through the 30 day review. I made it through two days. So guys, that really is about it. It was just very high. I didn't like standing that high. I didn't like having no ties because I felt like my foot was wobbling around a lot. And then also the arch support was just too much. And then just how the shoe would hit on the top of my bone on my foot didn't go well either. So dance goes for the anatomy of my foot. Absolutely not. Um, I can't say if I do recommend them or don't recommend them because it's all based on the anatomy of your foot. But guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this helped somewhat. Um, I know this was a very hard review to do uh, just because I couldn't make it through the entire month that I wanted to do. Comment below if you all wear dance goes or if you wear clogs and if they worked for you or if you've tried dance goes before and they have or haven't worked for you, I'd be very interested in knowing. And kind of tell me more about the, like, the anatomy of your foot. Do you have high arches, flat feet, and what did it do for your foot and how did your feet feel after working your shift? All right, that is it. Thank you for tuning in to today's video and I will see you in the next video. Have a very, very, very blessed week.